Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Ali. Sorry I didn't post during the week. I actually went back to work. A few restrictions were lifted here in Idaho, allowing me to go back to work, so that's where I've been. And I'm gonna be going back to my normal posting schedule of posting two videos on the weekend like I was doing before. So I just wanna give you guys a little heads up that I am okay, nothing happened this week, just went back to work, and I'm gonna be posting like normal. But today we're gonna be talking about the My Kind of Love collection from Killian. The My Kind of Love collection is a much more affordable range from the House of Killian. You guys know Killian scents can range from 200 plus as far as US dollars go. And they're very, very pricey. And this line you can find at Sephora, you can find it on the Killian website, and I'm sure you can find it on other retail websites as well. But it's a much more affordable range. The 1.7 ounce of this uh, line runs about $75 and the larger bottle runs $135. So definitely a lot less expensive, still pricey, but a lot less expensive than your normal Killian scents, which is really cool for people who want to try something from the House of Killian. I feel like this will be a great introduction to you um, to try out Killian really because it's so much more inexpensive like I said, still a bit pricey, but definitely more affordable. So the My Kind of Love Collection is a series of scents to tempt, tease, and love like no one is watching. These perfumes are for having fun and not caring what people think. And I think that's a really cool concept. The whole line is built around that concept, which I think is really fun and just really interesting. I love how Killian built his concepts for scents and his ideas and just the thought he puts into everything is always so fascinating to me. Now this collection is a collection of multi-layered notes and accords that he's known for, but built a key ingredient around them that's unusual, surprising, and instantly recognizable. So that's something really interesting about these. They're all built around a key ingredient. And yeah, we're gonna get into it like right now. The first one that I'm gonna talk about is the one that I'm not the craziest about. This one does pull more masculine. This one is called Boys. I have bought this one from a pack, like a sampler pack that they were selling in Sephora, which I do believe they still sell in Sephora. You get four of them, and this was one of the four that was in there. I have two full bottles that I'm gonna go over, and three that are in this little travel size spray thing. But um, this one is called Boys. The full name is Bad Boys Are No Good, But Good Boys Are No Fun. And this one is a really interesting one. I had sprayed it earlier on here just so I can like reintroduce myself to it. Cause like I said, I don't really wear this one. It's not my favorite. This one does pull out of all of them, the most masculine. So for my boys out there who want to try Killian scent from this range, definitely check out Boys. This one's got notes of cola, lime, cinnamon, apple, nutmeg, cedar, and amberwood. And this is a really interesting one. You definitely get that cola accord, that Coca-Cola vibe. And you definitely get this like lime zestiness to it as well. And it's definitely spicy. I definitely pick up on the cinnamon, I pick up on the nutmeg, and I definitely pick up on the cedar. To me, I feel like if a girl wanted to wear this, she totally could. It would be more on the edgy side, but I feel like this would lean more masculine. It's kind of fizzy. It's a little sparkling. It's got this really nice Coca-Cola vibe. As it dries down, it dries a little bit more cedary, and it's really, really nice. It's just not my vibe. This lasts about six to seven hours on the skin. I feel like this is gonna be perfect for summertime you know, that summer vibe, you wanna throw something fun on that's just a little flirty, a little just kind of sexy, because it is a little sexy. There is something a little bit sexy about it, but it's also very casual, it's very playful, it's very fun. I mean, the main accord in this is like a Coca-Cola accord, and I mean, there's nothing funner than like drinking pop in the summertime, you know? I don't know why Coca-Cola always gives me like summer vibes when I think about it. If I'm not thinking Christmas, I'm thinking like summer, like summer fun when I think of like drinking Coca-Cola. But it's definitely got that sort of fizzy soda with lime vibe. It's a really, really interesting one. And for those of you who are interested, I suggest checking it out. 
for me it wasn't my vibe but I'm really happy I got to sample it and I'm happy I have this in my collection as well the next one that we're going to talk about is called adults and adults is a really really nice one as well this is what this one looks like the full name is let's settle this argument like adults in the bedroom naked <laughs> and they all have like really long quirky names the highlighted word is usually the name it's associated with if you just want to call it by its short name so it's got a long name but it's highlighted as adults so it's called adults but this one's interesting i had sprayed it on this arm earlier and it's a very figgy cedar vanilla perfume it's quite sexy honestly i can see a lot of people really enjoying this one for me the only problem i had with this one was the longevity i feel like on my skin personally this lasted maybe two hours before it became more of a skin scent. So I didn't get the projection and everything that I wanted to get from this one. At first spray, it does project pretty well for the first hour or so, but then it starts drying down into a very subtle skin scent. You do get like a slight burst of bergamot and lemon in the top when you spray it. It's got that fig nectar, green notes, hedonine, cedar, vanilla, orris, sandalwood, amberwood and violet as well but most prominent is the fig note with that vanilla and that cedar which is still really really beautiful it's a very sensual scent i honestly feel like this name is kind of geared towards like what the name says it's like a very bedroom scent there's something very erotic about this scent but the fact that it doesn't last on me makes this sort of like a in my opinion a very good netflix and chill or like we're gonna go to the bedroom type scent because of how sensual and close to the skin this one tends to be. I feel like it would be really good for like seducing and really intimate settings and just that kind of adult fun if you're catching my vibe. I honestly um, probably won't purchase the full size of this one just because it doesn't last that long on my skin, but it's really beautiful. I know on other people this lasts a lot longer. For some reason on my skin personally, it just doesn't really last that long which isn't too bad because I mean I have this and if for some reason I ever get into like an intimate like situation maybe I'll spray it on just so I can smell really good for a couple hours but I don't think I'm gonna be using this one anytime soon so I'm just gonna set her right off to the side now the next one that I'm gonna talk about is called kissing and the full name for this one is kissing burns 6.4 calories a minute want to work out and it looks like this this is one of my favorite ones from the line i'm definitely going to be getting a full bottle of this one you've got notes of bergamot lily of the valley rose you've got green notes you've got a milk note sugar and vanilla and this is stunning this is so elegant this is so beautiful so sexy to me so sensual this is very very sensual you get a lot of that lily of the valley um note in this but it's a very sugary sweet lily of the valley it's a little milky because of the milk accord it's absolutely beautiful i don't think i've ever smelled something quite like this <clears throat> and it's really interesting you get a slight greenness from it but it almost comes off as like a sugary green note it's really really interesting it opens up with that beautiful bergamot note and immediately starts drying down to a sugary lily of the valley scent it's quite linear you don't get a lot of progression with this scent you mainly get this really sugary lily of the valley and it's quite addictive this one is really really beautiful i absolutely love this one i'm definitely going to get like the biggest bottle of this one because of its uniqueness and just how gourmand it is for a floral scent it's a really interesting floral gourmand because it's very very milky very sugary very just beautiful and the lily and this smells so natural to me it smells very very natural but it just ugh, it smells so good it smells like the most delicious candy i have ever smelled in my life and this lasts on the skin as well i get eight plus hours on the skin with this one like I said, it's quite linear. There's not a lot of change as it dries down, maybe at the deep dry down, it becomes a little bit more just milky and vanilla-y, but 
for the most part, it stays pretty linear and you're not gonna get a lot of change, but I'm perfectly okay with that because of how beautiful this is. I absolutely love this. This is stunning. This is a 10, at least for me. The next one that I'm gonna talk about is one of the full sizes that I have, and this one is called Princess. This one's got notes of lemon, ginger, green tea, hedonine, apple, jasmine, you've got peach, marshmallow, benzoin, and vanilla. And this is really, really good, you guys. Like, I love this. This is a really beautiful, sensual vanilla. I don't think I've ever smelled a vanilla quite like this one. It almost gives me like a green tea matcha vibe with like marshmallows, like a hot green tea matcha. And someone threw like marshmallows in it. It's fluffy, it's sensual, it's absolutely beautiful. I love this one. And when I smelled it, I had to have the full bottle of it because of how beautiful it is. You get a little bit of zinginess from the lemon and the ginger in this in the opening. And then it starts drying down to this beautiful powdery sort of green tea marshmallow vibe. And I'm here for it. I absolutely love this. We've got slight floral nuances like in the back because of that hedonine and that jasmine, which I believe hedonine is actually derived from jasmine. But in this, it's just stunning and I really do enjoy it. This is by far one of my favorite ones from the line aside from kissing. Kissing and Princess are like absolutely stunning, especially if you're into vanilla scents, then this is definitely one to add to your collection. If you're into a more sort of gourmandish vanilla that smells like a green, like a matcha green tea with marshmallows, it's really, really decadent and really, really sensual. And I feel like this one is gonna just be like amazing. This is easily a signature scent for anybody. Whereas kissing, I feel like is more of a going out scent. I'm gonna go to the club. I'm gonna go on a date. I'm gonna go somewhere fancy. You could definitely dress up with that one. Adults, like I said, would be a really good bedroom scent and boys would be a really good one for guys going out and having a good time, like running the streets, you know, just being boys. Especially for the summertime, boys would be a really, really good one. And we're getting real close to summer. The last one that I'm going to talk about is called After Sunset. And it looks like this. The, they all have this like neat little block stand. And they're in these little sort of, they look like little bombs. They're really cute, honestly. I really like the packaging for these. But um, this one is called After Sunset. The full name is Fun Things Always Happen After Sunset. And this one is a really interesting one. I just got it not that long ago from the Killian website. And I have some real thoughts about this one. I don't dislike it, but it's definitely different. This one, every time I smell it, it always catches me off guard for a second before my nose adjusts. This one's got black currant, green oats, rose, lychee, musk, and patchouli. And I do like this scent. I feel like it's weird because this scent I could totally see working in the gym, but I can also see this scent working, going out with your girlfriends, having a cocktail, sitting by the beach. Like there's a lot of occasions that I could see this scent working in. But it's weird that like a lot of the occasions that I see it working with don't really correlate with the gym, but I can see this being a really good gym scent as well. What I get the most from this is a slight muskiness and that rose and patchouli, the, or that rose and patchouli, uh, the rose and the lychee, sorry. My mind went like, for like a split second. But I get a lot of the rose and lychee. If you don't know what lychee smells like, it's a tropical fruit. It sort of s smells like a really creamy star fruit, but a lot creamier. You definitely get that creaminess from the lychee in this. It's got a fresh, aquatic, refreshing vibe as well because of the lychee. But you get it mixed in with this sort of rosiness that's in this as well from the rose. Don't get a lot of the green notes in this. I get a slight black currant, which is adding, I feel like, to the creaminess in the lychee. But to me, and I know this might sound weird, but this smells like a woman who wore um, a rose scented body cream to the gym and started working out. And it smells like sweat mixing in with a rosy 
um, body lotion. It's really quite interesting. It really is kind of weird. There's something about it that reminds me of like, and don't take this wrong, like wearing deodorant under your armpit and you, when you catch a whiff of it, it has that sort of vibe because of the muskiness with that creamy leachiness. It smells like a creamy rose deodorant that you put on and you started working out and you're sweating and you're catching whiffs of that deodorant. That's what I get from this, honestly. I could see a lot of people getting turned off by this one, honestly, because of that vibe. But to me, it's unique, it's interesting, it's kind of pretty. And I feel like I'm gonna wear this a lot to the gym. I feel like this would be great for hot days. If you're gonna go have a cocktail outside, if you're on the beach, like, it is a very pretty scent. But I can definitely see some people getting turned off by the creaminess of that fresh lychee with the cream and the rose. For some reason, it smells to me slightly like clean sweat and either deodorant or like a rose scented lotion and that's what I get from this one and I know that sounds weird don't let that deter you definitely not a safe blind buy just because you like lychee or rose definitely sample this one before you buy it I think it's beautiful I think it's interesting I think this one is unique I wanted a full-size bottle of it so I ended up getting it but like I said this could throw off a lot of people. So definitely sample before you buy with this one. And out of all of them, the two I would highly recommend are definitely Kissing and Princess. Adults, if it lasts on your skin, I would say go ahead and get it. It's a very sexy scent. I really did enjoy it. For my guys out there, definitely check out Boys. It's a really good one for guys. Like I said, it wasn't my vibe, but it's definitely interesting and unique for what it is. And yeah, that's all I really have to say about these. It was a quick little run through, but I hope you guys enjoyed my take on it. Um, if you guys want to find me on Instagram, I will link that down below. Subscribe and like the video. And until next time, you guys, I will catch you later. Bye.